example of how to calculate, example for calculating um, overtime, back pay, um, uh, overtime and back pay, okay? Yeah. But this is not relating to um, bonus hours, right? Okay, so um, Lucy worked a hundred, a two hundred, two hundred and fourteen point five hours in October, November, right? Right. Right. Two hundred fourteen point five hours, and this is October, November. <clears throat> okay. So then we can see here that Lucy uh, was scheduled for twenty hours a week. Okay. Okay. So then she was scheduled for uh, 20 hours per week uh, times 5 weeks, right? Because there were 5 weeks, which is equal to 20 times 5 is 100 hours, right? So that means that she has 114.5 hours of um, back pay. Okay? Does that make sense? So we do. Yes, so yes. you do 214.5 minus 100, which is equal to 114.5. <clears throat> right. So is that the number of hours of overtime that she has? Do you guys know the answer? Yes. Well, the answer. The answer is no. So. Uh, so here, where you put on the overtime where it says 114.5, this is incorrect. So let's go ahead and make that uh, red, right? So the way you calculate the overtime is not through the, the way you calculate the back pay. So if you come to um, the uh, uh, if you come to our uh, the number of hours you have is 20 hours, right? But in order to get back pay. I mean, not back pay, but overtime, you have to be working um, more than 30 hours in a work Five week. Hours per week. Right? So the way that you would calculate the overtime hours is you come in here and you see on the first week she worked 33.75 at five, seven, five hours, right? So that would mean on week one, Week one was equal to 3.75 overtime hours, right? Week two, go over to week two, and here we have 43, so that'd be 13, right? 13 overtime hours. Week three um, would be uh, 48, so that'd be 18.5. 18.5 overtime hours and week four is 10.75 hours 10.75 hours week five is 48.5 which would be 18.5 hours again overtime hours. so it's a little odd that you would have 18.5 exactly twice um, but it's there. So, I mean, this, this, you might, you know, I, this would raise a flag for me. Uh, it, overall, it's just a lot of hours without having output. Um, so that's a flag, but overall these, this particular 18.5 hours is a little odd as well. Anyways. Um, so this is normal. This one also is plus three hours of double overtime. And this would be plus <clears throat> So this would actually technically be 10 hours of overtime plus three hours of double overtime. This would be um, 8.5 hours of double overtime and 10 hours uh, of overtime. Okay, that makes sense? Okay, yeah, this makes sense. And then this would be 10 hours of overtime plus 0 0.75 of double overtime. So this is the, the calculations for weekly over time right but it's also possible that she also may have had working more than six hours in a single day or working more than four hours in a single session so lucy could also be accumulating um daily and session overtime but she would have had to, to track that okay 
So we're not going to worry about that right now. So right now we're going to skip, skip daily and um, uh, session overtime. So just to just to calculate this out, we can add it all up. So you get. Um, and typically you do this on a spreadsheet, so it'd be 3.7. So I just do it. I'll just do it on a spreadsheet real quick. So let's just do some. Uh, let's say like Lucy here. Uh, and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because there's so many details for each person. So you would have um, a single overtime, and then you have a double overtime. So 3.75 uh, plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. And then here you've got 0. Um, plus 3 plus 8.5 plus 0 0.75 plus 8.5 okay so if you sum this all up and this is um, uh, October November 2017 for Lucy So you get the you get the total number of overtime hours is sixty four point five hours, right? So if you came so if you came in here instead of one fourteen, this should be sixty four point seven uh, point five. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. So cool. All right. So that's how you calculate the overtime. All right. So let's go ahead and update that here. So this is uh, the total for weekly overtime is equal to 64.5 hours, um, which is, and we can put the details, which is 43.75 overtime. So it's 43.75 overtime hours plus 20.75 double time hours, okay? So um, then the next step would be to calculate the, um, the equity value of the back pay, right? And this is the important part. I know we haven't done team equity yet, but this is extremely important for your team equity and the valuation that you have in the organization. So it's very important to calculate people's back pay. So what you do for here is you go and you would find... Um, Lucy's pay rate. So Lucy's pay rate for back pay is six point six seven hours. Six point six point six seven dollars per hour. So you do um let me refresh this. So you do six point six seven and that's dollars. And then this would be equal to this um, times 1.5 times the number of hours, right? Mm -hmm. And then this would be the same, except instead of times 1.5, it would be times 2. Um, and then that's your total um, overtime pay. Okay. So it's 714 52 and so you can see that that overtime back pay is huge right yeah so this is the overtime back pay um, and then on top of that you also get um, back pay is worth 25% back pay is plus 25% so then that would be equal to this times 1.25 which is 893.15 so the um, plus 25% for back pay which is 800 893.15 893.15 okay. okay and this is the total back back pay so this would be the overtime value 
right? And then this would, to add it to back pay, you add the 25%, and this is the total back pay equity, IOUs, right? So, I mean, there's no way that we could pay this, right? Especially when Lucy's um, uh, pay rate, what's Lucy's pay rate? It's one something for a lot. No, it's four hundred dollars, right? So her her monthly budget was four hundred dollars, right? But her back pay for that month alone was more than double that. So if you add the four hundred dollars, Lucy's total pay, including back pay, is four hundred plus eight hundred and ninety three fifteen. Is one thousand two hundred ninety three fifteen. One thousand two hundred ninety three fifteen. And this is just just for one single month. Okay. So this is just an exorbitant amount of money for not getting the work done and us basically losing our client and not following through with everything and not doing the personnel support and not 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 you know and us basically losing hundreds of thousands of dollars and it goes on and on and on right so it's it's um like it's not acceptable for people to be doing like this is real money right right and we can't be spending this kind of money without getting all the work done right this is actual real money that lucy and other people will be getting and we just can't pay that kind of money so the way we look at back pay is as if it's, as if it's actual cash it's just like an iou Right, and if we can't pay it back, it's going to go into equity. But the goal is to eventually pay it. Um, but we can't have people accumulating overtime and back pay. Um, you know, it's just not it's not acceptable unless unless you're actually getting really really important work done. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, but yeah. either either way, I mean, this is all work that Lucy did. You know, I, the only thing that questions me is this, like, why would it be exactly the same for week three and week five? Um, that reminds me of, like, Julie, you know, when Julie had exactly the same amount, you know, for every week. It's like a big red flag. So other than that, like, maybe you made a mistake there with your hours. But other than that, um, you know, this would still count. Like, we would count uh, this is the correct number for the actual back pay for Lucy for that month. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And then this is this is just the beginning because on top of that you have your global equity and your team equity and your session credits. So you know it's it's uh it's real value, you know like this is uh, what people are doing is is a lot of work and a lot of value and want people to um feel like this is uh, you know, really important. And then eventually when we find investors, like, you know, it's, it's real money. So the goal is that we would transform all of this value into real money and we all, you know, become very wealthy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the goal here, right? Is that we're all co-owners in this uh, network that we're building and in the, in the organizations and companies that we're creating. So I think that's um, pretty much it. Do you guys have any questions? No, it's clear. Great. So, so are we creating another uh, spreadsheet for that? Yes. No, okay. no, you have you have it already. So you have your personal work hours and pay spreadsheet, and then you've got your um your overtime spreadsheet, and then you have your and then you have your your back pay spreadsheet. So you only need three, right? Okay. So so here I'll write it down. So logging logging all of the hours. So. So um, normal hours uh, go to the um, whatever this one here personnel personnel hours tracking and pay spreadsheet bonus hours go to the same one right let's see right, and so this is the top section section this is the bottom section. Then you have um, overtime hours go to the overtime spreadsheet. Um, and then you have back pay, uh, um, back pay value equity IOUs uh, go to the back pay tracking spreadsheet. Okay. Monthly back tracking sheet. Right? Yeah. 
So those are the only, um, th you only have three spreadsheets that cover everything. Okay. Yeah, I think that's more than enough. I don't think there's anything else missing there. But if there is something, we can create a new one uh, if needed. It's okay. Cool, and then and then all of this will get, um, uh, and then eventually, eventually all of this goes into the equity spreadsheets, the daily equity spreadsheets, the team equity spreadsheets, and the um, network equity spreadsheets. Okay, so so this is the part that we haven't done yet. It's the mo it's one of the most important parts. I know you guys don't understand this, but you know. It may seem like we're working for money, but we're getting paid less than, like I'm getting paid less than a tenth of the value that I'm contributing. And everybody in the organization is getting paid less than half of the value that you're contributing, right? So easily, if not less than that. So the most important thing that we're actually working for is the equity and the value and the tokens, okay? okay. So this is the most important part. We have to do this. This is what it all comes down to is who owns what value and what equity in if if we like make millions of dollars it should be distributed across the world to the whole team and all the community organizations and everything that we're building together uh that in the in the equity distributions is the foundation for where all the money goes okay so it's very very important that we don't keep skipping that we keep talking about it and we never do it so we got to prioritize it okay Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is the IOU? Where I um, like, the... know how know how someone can propose getting a back pay advance, and they can also propose uh, they can get their late, uh, I mean, their their paid leave, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? That all comes from your back pay because we consider back pay as cash, so it's a back pay equity IOU. So we owe you that money because it's money that should have been paid, right? Like it's actual money that should have been paid, but we don't have the budgets to pay everybody that money yet, you know, because we're, we're, we can barely pay people their upfront rate, let alone their back pay rate, right? So it's a, the IOU is a, you, wait, you don't understand what an IOU is? All right, so IOU is, uh, it's, it's, it's in English. Uh, it's abbreviated phase IOU. Right, so it's I O U, and it's usually a, a debt. It involves the idea of a debt. It's a promissory note saying that we owe this. It's like a, it's like we as an organization owe the individual this additional value of work. Does that make sense? Yes, makes sense. Yeah. So so we consider back pay as direct cash value. Right? But we don't have to pay it because it's a it's saying that we only have to pay it in the case that um, so this is back pay IOU is equal to a um, an agreement agreement between the worker and the company to uh, pay if and only if um, agreement can be reached on extra budgeted um, amounts to pay uh, the back pay value, okay? So if, if, um, if back pay, back pay cannot be, oh wait, it's important to note that back pay, back pay IOUs are stored in US dollar valuations, right? And if back pay cannot be paid Workers have the option to invest it uh, in, uh, as equal to cash investments in the company. Okay, so if you invest your back pay IOU into the company, it's considered equal to a direct cash investment. All right. So this is this is uh. So if you can add this, if you could index index the back pay IOU into the worker policies, okay? Okay. Cool. And then, and then this is all a responsibility, like if you could, if you could index all of this into a new responsibility doc, you know, create a new responsibility doc on overtime pay and, um, you know, 
just like payroll in general. So you know, index all of this information. And then I also have um, also have a training video on um, the Lucy example. Okay. Okay. That we can add. So this would be good, and, and you know, as we get more organized and professional, you know, this is really important because when people come and they work with us, most people are going to be working for equity and value. Like you know, even Lucy, you can see here, her value of her back pay is double what the actual work hours that she did, right, and that she got paid for, right. So it's it's three times more than she got paid. So most of like I'm saying, most of the work. And the value for our network is not paid. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. Awesome. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. I gotta go. Okay. And then we'll do Thank we'll do you. more uh, tomorrow. I'll try to do Sonic tomorrow as well if I can. And, and we'll just uh, get it done as much as we can. When you are starting the piano works, uh, so that I can schedule one day. Did you say canopy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a canopy is just a matter of prioritizing it. Like, you know, if you're interested in, in working on canopy, uh, there's a whole. Today you were working from 12 p.m. So every day you are going to work on this and schedule time or on your own time. I'm looking for people who are interested in, in scheduling it. It's it's really a minimum like canopy workers. Canopy workers, workers are, are equal to minimum of 15, uh, 10 to 15 hours per week. Like that's what we need. It's 10 to 15 hours a week uh, uh, scheduled. Scheduled time, right? So from there, there's also um, canopy support work that needs to be done. So we also need to create a canopy um, client um, doc. So this is another thing that needs to be made so I can start copying information in there. Um, but I can I can just I think I have it over here. Let me see. No, here. Is it here? So this is the this is the schedule we're looking at for canopy. Oops. So we need uh, two to three people cobalt six to seven days a week, right? And it goes through all of the different um, times. So it's a minimum of thirty. Uh, oh, it's a minimum of thirty hours per week that we need uh, with three people including myself, so two to three people, and then a minimum of 10 to 15 hours scheduled for each person. Minimum, up to easily, you know, and up to 30 plus hours per person. Um, so in addition to that, so there's the internal canopy work, see above, we need 30 hours, and then there's also the FQN canopy client work, which includes the accounting, calculating the valuations of various assets through time, and then calculating the gains and losses. So, so these responsibilities can be done immediately um, and we can start you know in main sessions or in buddy teams we can start doing training on these but it, we have to prioritize it in relationship to the taxes um, to um, the not the um, finances and uh, yeah there's just a whole bunch of other priorities payroll okay so if we if we get through everything and all the priorities eventually we'll, we'll spend as much time as we want to on Canopy, but we have to catch up on all the other overall essential priorities as well. All right? Yeah, but but if you're interested in working internally with Canopy, uh, it's it's really we need 30-hour commitment, but a minimum of 10 to 15 hours to get started. Or you need to help me recruit people who can do this work. Like, we need this. We need these sessions filled, um, and we need to recruit people who can do that work and if we can't um, find them you know we just have to do our best with what we got but uh, we're, we're, we're already making a lot of progress it's been almost uh, this will be our second week where we actually have cobalt sessions so the amount of work we've gotten done the last two weeks is unbelievable compared to before right so we're doing really good we're on the right track 
So, Jay, can we schedule now uh, people who can work with you? Because I'm also willing and you are counting for FQN or also for Canada. Great. Well, I mean, you have your buddy team tomorrow, so we have tomorrow. We've got um, Andromeda, Cobalt, Sonic uh, all day. Okay. At the same time? Yeah, all the, all the same times, yeah. From 5 p.m. From 5 so you can give us an access to these accounts so that they can start doing working because you gave me a training on accounting. I think I can do it. Yeah, and I also did some with Joyce. Definitely check in with Joyce because she got more training on accounting as well. Okay. Yeah, and we did we did the Umbus accounting and we did uh, we started the Canopy accounting. Okay. And the okay. accounts receivable as well. Cool. Okay. And then click in the accounting doc. It has the links. All right. I got to go. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And we'll, and we'll get to anything. I mean, you guys want to do the, the, the canopy. We'll get to it, but we, we have to, we can't only work on canopy. We have to also do all the other work, uh, you know, like the Jorge entities and the nonprofit taxes and the payroll and we also have the medical, and it's just there's it goes on and on and on. We've got to do all of it, okay? Okay. Great. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, sure. Bye. Okay, thank you. Ciao.